Please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon. Okay children. So now we are going to solve the sums. Okay. Based on whatever we have learned so far. To make your work simpler, I have just put here the tabulated column where you have the number value as well as the value of it in the Roman number. So you can use this table as a hint to take as a help to complete your sums. So are you all ready to solve the sums with me? Here is your first question. The question says addition is only applicable when the first symbol is dash than the second, third, etc. Okay, and the options given are greater, option B, smaller, option C, equal. And option D, greater than equal to. Okay. So, this question is basically asked from the properties of addition. Right. And here they are asking that addition is only applicable when the first symbol is dash than the se second, third, etc. So, what we have learned children that if the first symbol is greater than the second symbol, then only addition is possible, right? So, which is the right option? It is option A. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? The next question is, pick the odd one out. And the number given are V, IV, X, XI and V, 3 I's. I am sorry, 4 I's. Okay. Your options are IV, option B, XI, option C, V and option D, V and 4 I's. So, which is the right children which is the odd one out among the given lot is it this one no this is 5 this is 4 this is 10 this is 11 and this is V followed by 4 I's we have learnt in Roman that a particular alphabet can be repeated only 3 times max it cannot be repeated beyond that right so there is no such figure in the Roman value so, option D, V followed by 4 I's is the odd one out. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? The next question is, again pick the odd one out. And the questions are I, V, X, L, C, D, N and your options are A, X, B, I, C, C and D, N. So, shall we tell the values of these Roman alphabets? This is 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, do we have any alphabet who, which is N in Roman letter? No, we have M, not N. So, there is no such 
number value of n, right? So, option D again is the right one. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? So, here is your next question. The next question says, Roman numbers don't have symbol for dash and your options are A0, B1, C2, D10. So, which of these does not have a value for 0, value in the Roman number? Very good, it is 0. For 0, we don't have any Roman value figure, right? So, option A is the right one. Clear? The next question. Pick the odd one out. And the options are AX, B double X, C triple X, and D 4x. So, which is the odd one out children? It is D because any alphabet cannot be repeated more than very good three times. Fine. So, shall we do some more? Interesting. The next question for you is you need to choose the correct statement. Okay. That is pick the correct statement fine so statement a it says that in addition principle a symbol can be used only three times okay and statement B says in addition principle a symbol can be used only one time okay and the options are a is correct option b b is correct option c both are correct and option D both are wrong. So, which is the right option children? In addition principle, a symbol can be used only three times. Is it true? Yes, this is true. And the statement B says, in addition principle, a symbol can be used only one time. That is not true, right? Because we have seen the cases of I, X, then C, M, wherein we can use a symbol up to maximum of three times. So, statement B is false. 
So, which means option A is the right one. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? The next question is, when a symbol appears after larger symbol it is dash your options are a added b subtracted c multiplied and D divided. So, what is the question asking? When a symbol appears after a larger symbol. So, what, what is the rule? When the first is the larger one and the following some symbols, the, the succeeding ones are the smaller ones, then it is very good, it is added. Okay. Next question. Subtraction is applicable only when the first symbol is dash than the second symbol and your options are less, option B more, option C equal to and option D less than equal to. Okay, so subtraction is applicable only when the first symbol is excellent less because it is totally opposite of what we have seen for the addition property, right? The next question, pick the odd one out. And your options are A, I, option B, 2 I's, option C, 3 I's and option D, 4 I's. So, which is the odd one out children? Very good. It is option D because the alphabet I is repeated 4 times and there is no such value in the Roman letter. Clear? So, shall we go to the next sum?